Today is March. Nope, it's February. 16th. February 16th, which means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 26, 27, 28, including today, the 16th. 28 days remaining to get as much done on the van as possible. Yesterday, Taylor was at work while I was working on the van and I didn't really film anything because it was a lot of just sitting around staring and trying to think of what's best for our build. I got a few cuts made and the van's a bit of a wreck. So I'm excited to open the doors and watch Taylor's reaction because I think she's gonna be a little ticked off about it. But hopefully we make some good progress and get majority of our big components screwed to the wall and secure. What nightmare am I walking into? Oh. It's a beautiful morning. What do we think? Not too bad. Could be worse. Did you make any progress? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, my little sweets. Okay, after some quick assessment, we have eight things to get accomplished today. Realistically, it's a really big goal. If we get half of this list done, I will be happy. First one, wire. We're getting the whole thing done. Today? We'll see. We got our two out wire for our alternator charger. Bang. So we're switching to electrics. First things, run this wire down to the driver's seat. Also run a, a 12 volt cable to the command center. Insulate the electric area. We need to fish a cable to our solar so we can fish that through. Now we can get everything set up. Once we get our solar in, then we can just snake it back down through the fishing line. Stay in the battery box. We're gonna build out our battery component box where it's gonna be living while we're on the go. That will take Taylor and Stan five minutes. Yes. And then we need to make it, we need to drill it in and make it all pretty though. Screw in electrical components. And then we switch sides. So once we get everything in, then we're switching sides of the here. Drill holes in the water tank. Run the wire for the Rickson's hydronic heater power box from the driver's seat starter battery all the way here. And then eight, connect the water tank and the other features like the water pump and accumulator. So it's a big one. We better get moving. We're gonna start on this side. Let's get going. You know, for a lot of this van build, I reached out to a lot of companies about, you know, partnering with us and stuff. I didn't really think about asking any wiring or cable companies to partner with us, and I really should have because wiring is freaking expensive. This wad of 30 foot 2 watt wire is like 100 something bucks. It's no joke. But it does look nice. It does? This it looks like a bomb. This is the exact wire we had on our old van. Look who's back. Do you even have a fireplace? Oh, look at that. A carburetor. Yeah. I started out working on carburetors, but we immediately... Retired. No. <laughs> We went to uh, fuel injectors and um, we never had to work on a carburetor again. Well, that's because you still have a shop. Correct. Look at this. Look, this, is, um, this, this is too much work. I, 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 you, said, I, I, you said you were wiring. You got a wire. Or right, I've been, electric. I went on your Mathers on the map thing yesterday. 75%, we took a poll, 75% of your of people watching Mathers on the map want me to rewire every I, I I can't do everything I told them. All right, I can't Is that everything. true? Is that real? <laughs> Most of the people are on your on your on your blog or whatever you want to call it, my people are on Utopia. Okay? My my blog and my my whole thing is in Utopia and the Philippines. I got a million followers. Where is Utopia? It's I don't it's near Afghanistan, oh, right? God. Who knows? Remember, there has to be a negative to every positive. All right? What an expert. Is that how it works? That's correct, hon. <laughs> all right? That's, that's, uh, I used to work with Thomas Edison, oh, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I can't, I can't take this anymore. This, I gotta go back to my, my, my work. What's your Benton. work, Glenn? All right, see you later. Yeah. 
How are we feeling? Really quick, I want to say a big thank you to Kori for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know who Kori is, well, they are one of the largest suppliers of van life RV products on Amazon, and they have a wide range of different products available, like three gang switch panels, master switches, water pumps, water fill inlets, shore power adapters, shore power extension cables, 30 amp cables, you name it, they pretty much have it. And as you can see right in front of me, they sent over a slew of different products, including 10 gauge solar wire with MC4 connectors, which is gonna be super easy when I install my solar panels on my deck. They sent me also the MC4 crimping tool, which is exactly what I need because I'm gonna be wiring my panels in parallel and series. So I'll need to use some of these to connect those wires. Cabinet drawer locks, which is really nice because there's actually a key involved for everyone. So if you have one of those drawers that you don't want anyone getting into, you can lock it with this little system here and it's super easy to do and put together. You just need to drill a hole into the cabinet and voila, you'll be ready to go in like five minutes. RV repair tape. So this is for like the roof. God forbid you have a leak on your max air fan or your AC or something. You can quickly fix it with just this tape here. Also right here is a water filter. Just about everyone uses these things when you're filling up your water tank, especially if you're drinking the water that's in your tanks. You want to filter on the external side of your hose going into your tank. So I'm super pumped about this. We'll definitely be using this. And lastly, I have these lights here, which honestly are pretty big. So we'll probably be putting these in the garage, but I like them because they have an on off switch right on the light. And they do have different sizes of these if you want something a little bit smaller, but I think this is a really cool feature because you don't need to run wires to a switch and it just makes life a little bit easier, especially in those hard to reach places, maybe for underneath the cabinet as well. So I'm super stoked on that. But these products are just a small range. Like I said, they have everything that you can think of and you don't need to take my word for the quality of their products. They've been on Amazon for a while, which means they have a ton of reviews on their products. A lot of them have well over a thousand reviews, so they're pretty good quality. Anyway, if you're in the market for RV or van life products for both building your van or if you're already on the road, check out Kori and thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. We haven't been doing a very good job at filming today, but we have officially wired almost the whole thing. We're pretty much done wiring. We might have to do one more wire. We forgot about the AC, so we just finished that one. And now we are working on hopefully getting the electrical stuff put on the wall. And yeah, that's our, that's my little update. Jeez, look at all the aluminum cuts. Look at that flow. I know, it's the hair's wild. <laughs> I mean, the hair's gonna stay wild for a little bit. I don't feel it. <laughs> Taking care of it. All right. <laughs> I'm growing out the hair. I might get a haircut when my baby gets a, their first haircut. They might be a little nervous, you know, they need some support. So I figured that's when I'll do mine. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Getting there? Almost there. Our, all of our wire lugs and other crimpers and wires come tomorrow and our fuses. So we'll be able to hook up everything tomorrow. We got it at least assembled on the wall and off the floor. So we're getting somewhat organized thanks to uh, the wife over here. Yeah, I won't be here for the fuse and wire installed tomorrow because I have work, but looks good. It's coming along. We have all of our Victron and Battleborn stuff up on the wall. Looks good. We loved our Battleborn batteries in the first van and we got all of our Victron components from them too. So they uh, do some programming and stuff which makes life a lot easier. You don't have to worry about that. So that's really cool. Almost done for the day, but got a few more things with this water tank. I have this inch and a half MPT mail fitting to a 90 degree elbow inch and a half barb, which is hard to find. I got it off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description, but this thing is a lifesaver because otherwise I had to do like five different fittings to get a 90 into a half inch barb from Home Depot. It just wasn't worth it. So I'm just spinning this on real quick, making sure that it does thread onto the Northwest wheel well water tank here, which it's doing flawlessly and it's just gonna 90 right to my tank or right to my water inlet, which is awesome. 
So now that I know that it fits, I'm going to take my hole saw and I'm going to get through this thing. I took the the drill bit off this so it's just the hole saw because it fits perfectly without it. If I had the, the drill bit in there I'd be up high and I have a chance of destroying the threads as I go down if I'm not dead centered. So I'm going to start with this and I'm just going to take it real slow and hope I get it clean and don't screw up these threads at all. But here we go. That's good, man. That was like butter. Threads are all still intact, really good. That is solid, I'm stoked on that. Now I'm gonna do the water meter level. I just did a sample hole for a smaller size than the one that I just drilled to see if this would go into there. And it will. All right, that one stayed in, which is good. I need to figure out how to get this shit out of here. And I'll put the rest in tomorrow. But I think that's it for me. Day 28, I think, is done. Check them out. Oh, got the puck out. Sweet. Now, I'm going to try and vacuum, and we'll see how this works. Screw in electrical components, drill holes in water tank, run wire for Rickson's hydronic heater, connect water tank. Damn, that was pretty good. How many did we get done? Seven out of eight. Seven out of eight. Oh, this is on? Oh, perfect. Yeah. I mean, what are the seven? My sheets a little bit. Wire two watt and USB to command center. Did, did that. that. Insulate the electric area. We did that. Fish, Fish the solar cable. Did that. Sand the battery box. Mm -hmm. Screw in the electrical components into the wall. We did that. Drill holes in the water tank. You just did that. Run wire for the Rickson's hydraulic heater from the car engine's battery. We didn't do that because we don't have it. No, we well, we ran the wire. We didn't hook it up to the battery. Gotcha. And then the eighth one was connect the water tank. So mm -hmm. That's the only thing we didn't get to. The water tank. We're going to get the crap out by putting water in it, swoosh it around, and then hopefully get everything out of there. But I would say that was pretty good. Pretty successful. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. I just... Was it's better when you're here. I was the moral support. I need it. <laughs> I do. All right, well, day 28. That's a wrap.